So it's one of those rougher divorces. So whenever we separated ways, I literally, I lost my job, you know, the kids, the whole thing is one of those type of deals. So it took a while to get it all back. But the biggest thing is whenever I started that divorce and I was on my own, um, you know, I had to find a new job, barely making ends meet. But one of the things I knew was I am going to commit to tithing. Uh, it's the one time God says, challenge, you know, test me. Test me, see if it works, it's the only time. And so I said, all right, I'm in. So even though it's week to week, how am I gonna make my rent? You know, I uh, made sure the first 10% straight off the top, straight to the church. And every week, every month, something would come up. Uh, somebody would kind of kick in a little extra. It was one of those deals, it was a great pride swallowing thing for me to be able to accept from people, hey, God's laid on my heart to give you a little. It only happened a couple of times, uh, but one of the times was fantastic. I mean, it's like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. And it was really hard to do, but he was in my men's accountability group and it was fantastic. It was three years later and he was looking for a job and I had got to a position where I could offer him a job. And so I was then able to give this same guy uh, an opportunity for employment. We were able to work some deals together, and some of those deals, I just took my name off without him asking. Uh, he didn't even know it till way down the line, and when he found out, when he finally got paid, he's like, whoa, hang on. I was like, no, no, you didn't ask for it, and you blessed me, this is my turn to be able to bless you back. Because I know now you're in the spot, kind of like I was. But the point is this, is even when I had nothing, I made sure and gave my 10%, and as a result, I really never anticipated I'd be highly or decently financially successful. It just wasn't my thing. But I have been, and it's been great that now I've been able to, you know, get my kids' school paid for. They don't have to worry about debt. They will help them buy a car. Um, there's not any help coming from my ex, so you know I've got to handle all of it. And I've been able to, and it's been terrific. I find it's easier to rely more on me and what I do versus whoa, whoa, whoa. I have to check myself often this isn't my success I mean it certainly is a part I've gone out and I've done my due diligence of work and I, you know I handle my business but you got to remind yourself that this isn't you doing it this is blessings of favor because you've done what you're supposed to do uh, and even now that things are a little bit better you know I make sure that that first cut of everything goes straight back to the church